yeah. um, the, for all the wild week, mm-hmm. you know, it's, it's always crazy. Great rivalry in the state. Uh, mm-hmm. What does this rivalry kind of mean to you? Man, I love the absolute competitiveness of it. I mean, we, I feel like it's always, you know, we're in competition with school is the best within the big sky and in our state. So um, I definitely love the crowd that comes in and just getting down to it. <laughs> Um, I feel like Ben has done a really good job with showing, you know, the intensity within our practices. I mean, we haven't we haven't been going easy in practice, and um, also with us seniors, we're showing, you know, that we're we're working hard in practice as well because we need these these freshmen to know, you know, this this is serious. Like this is something that our community comes together for, and we need to show up for our community because they're taking time out of their day to come and see us and to support this rivalry. So. Um, I'm, I believe that they're getting a better understanding of what it's like. And um, I mean, it, it is difficult because I came in as a freshman as well and I didn't fully understand it because I didn't, I mean, in high school, I went to a little school. So I didn't fully understand the rivalry until I played in a Cat Grizz game. And I saw, you know, how Montana State shows up for their women's basketball, even men's basketball, Cat Grizz. It's a big deal. And I love it. About, uh, what about on the court? You know, for people that have never experienced mm-hmm. it, what kind of game is it how different is it from any other conference? um I would say that it definitely is you definitely have something to prove when you're out there on the floor and when you're guarding your person you you want to lock them you know you want to lock them up and you want to you want to score the ball and you want to prove and you know prove that you know we're the better school and I mean vice versa for them as well they want to prove that they're the better school so it's just it's fun to you know, when getting out on the floor, you can feel the competitiveness. It just radiates off of everyone out there. Um, Lindsay, of course, going down mm-hmm. recently. Um, what did, what just uh, were your thoughts kind of when you heard that she was picked up? It 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 was really heartbreaking for us because I mean she was she was doing an excellent job in her role and she was she was really giving us a lot of excellent minutes and it it definitely was really tough for us to hear that. But I mean there's going to be bumps in the road and it's just how our team is going to respond from it. And I think our team has hit many bumps in the road and I feel like we are doing a good job with, you know, showing up and working our butts off in practice. And we understand that, you know, we can only control the controllables. So. Yeah. yeah. I mean, with all the injuries this year, mm-hmm. I mean, it's, it's like, it's kind of, kind of toughen you guys up, I would imagine. Yes. Um, yes, definitely. Um, and what, what kind of stands out most about the Grizz? Is what are the players is kind of their, their um, I would I would say they're um, um, driving middle and wanting to get to the rim. They're all wanting to come off ball screens, get to the middle. I mean, um, their PG is she she's she's a nice player. I, I respect her game. Yep, I respect her game, and um, um, they have a good backup bench as well. They've got you know they've got some good players on there, and I think um, what we need to focus on is how disruptive our defense is going to be locked in every single possession and not taking any plays off if you need to sub you need to you need to get out so then we can get some fresh legs in and um yeah that's that's game plan yeah obviously mm-hmm. three pointers they, they're they yes some shooters um, yes and you guys have struggled against uh, three point shooters mm-hmm. in the last couple of games so uh you know what kind of things have you guys been trying to hold in on uh, uh yes uh we've been we've been working on um you know our what what we call is our you know our four out and we're working around, you know, they're passing the ball all around and we're having to do air time. It's our air time drill and um, moving on the pass, um, when to help, when not to help, when to back tap, when not to back tap, um, when to swarm posts, when to, you know, attack ball and attack gaps. And so, yeah. Yeah, I mean, you mm-hmm. guys are so kind of switch and help. Mm-hmm. Uh, so centric, I guess, on defense. So I imagine that some of that is with Losing so many key players and having mm-hmm. to put in the newer ones, that's probably just a, a cause that they have to be comfortable. Yes, right? yeah. And I think that they're doing they're doing a great job. It's not something that we can expect for them to get, you know, the first few practices, few games. Like, it, it definitely, I mean, I, I it's taken me three years to really get the whole dynamic down of, you know, when to commit to this, when not to commit. So it's nothing that I can you know, blame them on or anything like that. It's definitely a, a learning process and we're just, you know, we just work from it, build from it. 
was your uh, moment or favorite part of this rivalry that you've experienced over the years? Oh my goodness, I I would say. Uh, let's see. I would say it was either my sophomore or junior year um, over over at their place. And um, no, actually, my freshman year it was my freshman year over at their place. And uh, we we were down quite a bit and and coming back from that because their gym was roaring. They were going crazy. And that alone is another player. It feels like that you have to go against and you have to mentally be locked in. And, it, and it's tough. But coming back and getting the dub for that game and seeing Ben in the locker room when she when she first came in um, there was there was some nice phrases that were said and it 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 was just really awesome seeing that my head coach is just as serious about this rivalry as we are it's not just the players it really is you know and the community as well like I love how serious this is taken last, uh, last one for me what would it mean for uh, especially seeing your um, you know, I think that it would, it would really mean a lot to us because we have gone through so many trials and coming back from them, continuing to get in the gym, continuing to just get mentally right. Um, I think that that would, it, and also it really is just, um, proving it to our crowd. Like we didn't, we didn't waste your time. We wanted you guys to come and watch us. We wanted to give you a good basketball game and we wanted to take the Grizz down in front of you. You, uh, handful of months ago, six months ago or so, mm -hmm. you didn't, probably didn't expect to be playing this game again. Um, yeah. So, I mean, how cool is that and, and kind of surreal is it to be mm -hmm. back in this game after you were expecting to be done? Yep. I, you know, it was it was a complete God thing for me. I know it's something that I prayed about and, you know, being able to face the Grizz and seeing the rivalry it's, it, again and being a part of that is incredibly special and I do not take it for granted. Win or loss, it, it's something that is that I cl hold close to my heart. It's just... It's a great competitive game. Right. Mm -hmm. I've been playing for Lexi, but mm -hmm. now that you're facing her, you know, hometown team, mm -hmm. uh, is there a little extra motivation to, to win one, this one for her? Yes, one ten percent because Lexi, every every single Cat Grizz game that I have played with with her, she has always showed up. That girl always, and it's just an excellent energy to feed off of. And I really do want to get this win for for her, for the team, for you know. The, the tough trials that we have had for our community, for our school. Like, yeah, I would say that it would mean a lot to us to be able to get that win for her because I know she wants to be out there with us so badly, and it, it breaks my heart for her. It really does.